Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today my topic is how to start research work for MPharm. In very simple and easy way, you can start your research work. A lot of students are confused how to select the topic and how to justify your topic. So here are some points which might help you. Aim of research to find something new and adding something new to the existing knowledge or work that is the aim of research. Second is choose area of interest. If you are interested in a particular area then only you can give 100% to your research. How to select topic uh, for the research work? So the very first thing is Google. You can directly type a uh, topic for the thesis uh, of your subject. You can find a number of topics there. Second is take an idea from old thesis. This old thesis you can find it from your seniors or you can take it from libraries or from the guides. Third is discussion. Discussion with your guide will improve your thinking ability. You can get an idea of your project. This will build up your knowledge as well as your confidence. Try to interact with your guide because you can solve any problem regarding the project and it can be solved by your guide. So the fourth point is make a notebook. Why you should make a notebook? Notebook will help you to maintain record which you have listened or observed. Just note down the keywords. This notebook will help you a lot in the final viva because this will give you a quick review of the research you have performed. So make a list uh, of your topics which you are you which you have find interesting. Don't select a repetitive topic. Don't opt for a topic which has been already performed by someone. Go for something new and different topic. How to do literature survey? So the very first thing is just go to the Google and type your topic. Where you can find the Google Scholar the very first thing you will find is Google Scholar. So open that and you will find the related articles of your topic. Second is the sciencedirect.com. In this website you have to add the keywords like if you have some drug so add the name of the drug or you want to um, learn something about the instrument add that instrument like HPLC or HPTLC like that you can add. So this, this you can find it out. Third is PubMed. It is similar to ScienceDirect.com. So all the recent articles you can find from all of these uh, websites. Uh, and try to find out article year wise. Like from 2011, 12. This will help you a lot. How will you get a thorough understanding? So the very first is whenever you see an article in the starting of article you can see the abstract. That is nothing but the summary of the whole article. So just read out that and understand the article. The second is reference book. If you have some reference book then just read the uh, reference book. You can get a lot of information from there. Material and method. In this, the very first is chemicals. So for the uh, research project, what are the chemicals required and what are its costs, what are its effects. So these all you have to check out. 
another thing is instrument uh, instrument which instrument are required for the research and what it are its cost and is it affordable or not these all points should be noted development of hypothesis it means a tentative answer for example if you are doing synthesis you are expecting a uh, product but during the synthesis reaction you had find something else that is the derivative you have find out so at times uh, you may expect something else and you find something another thing that is called a tentative answer that is the development of hypothesis at times you ex expect something else and you find out something else the result may be as expected or may not be practical knowledge this is very important for an m farm student and if you know practically then you will easily perform your practical the very first thing is is you should know the chemicals and its effect which chemicals you should use and what are its effects are they carcinogenic and how to handle the chemicals another thing is that the instrument you should know the instrument you should know is its sop how it is going to perform what is the requirement of that instrument you should know everything at what temperature you have to keep that instrument so these all points are very important another thing is that development of strategy in development of strategy you should direct you should make a list of the things which you will be performing during the practical like if you are doing synthesis uh, then you should make the formulation uh, types of uh, chemicals required everything you should make in a systematic manner this will give you a, this will give you a systematic arrangement and note down the observation experimental performance is the same you have to perform all the experiment and just note down so this is the practical knowledge you should know for the project work conclusion it depends on the results of the thesis that is whatever we have performed during the research work is right as expected or not we have to conclude in the last that is the hypothesis is right or not we have to conclude in it so this is the last thing of the thesis like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching